Hey guys, it's Alan from DW again, and welcome back to DW Soundworks. In this video, I'm going to show you all about factory presets, user presets, saving your own, making your own, and maybe a little bit more. Let's jump right in. All right, to open up our kit browser, it's really simple. You just go up to the top center of your application, click on the kit name, and that'll bring up our browser. You scroll down through here, you can see the multitude of kits that come with uh, the Soundworks application. And you can also see some of the ones that I've already created uh, by the uh, name user here under pack. But let's talk about these columns for a second. So the first column is your preset column. It's the preset name. So it'll give you uh, some inclination into what it is by the names I've given them. Booth, clean, metal, natural, raw, room, studio, warmer, funk, tight, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If something is not totally clear to you, like say these chops kits, uh, you can always look to the genre and ambience columns to get an idea of what they uh, represent. Same thing goes for the core and crush ones. They're all rock or heavier rock and studio kits. Uh, the second column is our pack column, which means that that preset came with the pack that's uh, listed in that column. If you have a user kit that you've created or edited and saved, then that will say user. And it'll be in your user folder, which we'll talk about in just a moment. The third column is obviously the author initials. Most of these will say factory. The ones you change uh, will say whatever you put in there. And in your last two columns, like I mentioned, uh, you can choose your genre and your ambience to give yourself a hint later on uh, or read from our factory files what that genre was meant for and what ambience it might um, sound like. So how do we load one? Well, let's pick one. Let's go to uh, Slingerland Room. You highlight it and you can come over here to load or you can simply double click the name right there like I just did. And then now I have a totally different sounding kit. Okay, so let's edit this kit. Let's say I wanna make some changes. Let's say that snare needs to be a little bit tighter. Put it back. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, let's say I want it tight like that. Let's say I want a little bit deeper kick. Like that. And let's say I want these floor toms to go down. Let's take that one down two clicks and this one down one click. Okay, so if you want to save it, you just go up here to your save button and you change the name however you want. You don't have to change the name because it's going to save this in a separate folder because I started with a factory kit. Let's give it a name of uh, Slingerland Room X. And let's give it my author initials, which I already have. Uh, this is Slingerland, and it's pretty um, natural. So let's go with Jazz. And it is natural, but I'm gonna go with Medium Room on this one. And I'm gonna save preset by clicking the button here. We'll give Soundworks a moment. It saves the preset, and if we go back in, we can see it's right here. Slingerland Room X user pack now. Uh, my initials and in Jazz Medium Room, which just happened to be the same thing I chose uh, that was on the original one as well. It also makes a little preview sample right here that you can play. Uh, this is a very generic preview, but this will give you an idea. If you want to load it again, you can double click it here, which obviously it's already loaded. So let's say I want to make some changes. Uh, let me say I decided that snare was too high and I actually want to take it down a little bit. Not that low. That's better. Kick's good. Actually, let's go really deep. Cool. To resave it, you simply click save again up there. You'll have your same name. All that stuff stays the same until you change it. Hit save. It's going to warn you this time that you do have something in that user folder. Do you want to overwrite? And I'll say yes. It will do it again. It will save the preset again, and it will rewrite the preview. So it takes a second. So where do we find that? You can go down here to the elliptical, or you can just use your browser and your computer. Click on that and go to the folder by going to uh, Load Drum Kit. I would do this one. And that'll take me straight to my documents, Drum Workshop, Soundworks, Kits. Now on Mac, that might be a little bit different. I'm on Windows, obviously. Uh, but basically, it's going to be in your personal documents folder under Drum Workshop Soundworks Kits. And you can see it's right here at the top, just modified today. Okay. If you want to delete it, you could delete it from that folder. Or you can come back up to your browser, click the name, 
go find it, right click, and then just hit remove. Remove equals delete. So if I hit remove and hit yes, you'll see that it is gone. Now back to the factory ones by the uh, signal of that. I will close that out. If I now go to load and go back to that folder, you'll see that it is gone. So be careful about that. It won't remove it from the list. It will delete it from your folder. That's going to do it for this. Uh, that's how you navigate, use, read, understand, find your kit presets. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I'm glad you made it this far, and I hope our video helped you. I hope I was able to shine some light on a lot of the features and sound works that will help you get started making your own presets. Please be sure, if you haven't already, to go ahead and subscribe below so that you can get notified of upcoming tutorials. I'm going to have probably several more come out that will help you uh, dig even deeper into SoundWorks. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.